So Nicholas is reporting a happy Sunday to the President and Mrs. Obama. Here's the unopened letter of the President of the United States. And first of all, I would like to honor this Sunday in honor of my European Pale Hellenic sisters. I would like more young women to go to church here in Memphis, Tennessee. This is addressed to the President Barack Obama and, of course, to women around the world and, of course, to my Facebook audience. I noticed there has been a shift of change um, regarding me as a young Republican here in Memphis, Tennessee. Do I think there is a conspiracy against young Republicans here in Memphis, Tennessee? Yes, I do, because I noticed that a certain degree of people want to make me appear as though I am not a strong leader here in Memphis, Tennessee. I've noticed a change in, in a lot of things. You know, when you can take a person's job, you know, and make him a part-time worker, and you can try to cripple that individual and try to cripple that individual's image. I notice a lot of things that go on down here in Memphis, Tennessee. Do I think the Tennessee Republican Party had a play in this? No, I do not, because the Tennessee Republican Party offered me a job. They have been helpful to me. They have always helped me. They have always inspired me. I think this I think it came from Memphis City Schools when we merged under one system. They tried to make me look like I was an illegitimate leader for my generation, and they tried to make me look like I was, you know, nowhere near capable of running a system, which is which is not true, which is all lies. It happened through certain levels of Democrats who do not like Nicholas the Governor Pegues, and they're traitors to our generation, they're traitors to the Obama administration, and they set, tried to set up a system against me to make me appear like an incapable leader. And that is the fact. That's the truth of, of, from, from here to so help me God. But um, well, Agbera is not having these type of problems because they want to make her look like she's a capable leader, but she is not capable of being a strong leader here in Memphis, Tennessee, because, you know, First Lady Michelle Obama is not reaching out to Rep. Ackberry. Condoleezza Rice is not reaching out to Rep. Ackberry. We have all of this anger here in Memphis, and she is looking like an incapable leader. Until you are strong enough to build up to, you know, the highest people upon the land, I will shut up. It is wrong on the way they have treated me. It is wrong in the way that they have tried to portray me as a young leader. And to put me as a young minority against her as another young minority is typically wrong. It is wrong, and that is, you know, old principles that should be broken down. And if they do not want to break it down, I will break it down. This whole system of Memphis, Tennessee, this corruption needs to be broken down. And it needs to be broken down in a legal perspective. If they want to create a problem, with me as a descendant of original Memphis and put me against Rep. Ackberry, who is, you know, a young person, she's a minority, but they shouldn't uphold her and put me against her, then all of it needs to fall. I have no respect for someone trying to create corruption in my city and a, rep and a generation that I represent and try to make her look like she's a little bit better because Rep. Ackberry has a long way to go. She has not met Condoleezza Rice. She has not met anyone. So in my opinion, it's all uneducated. I'll, I'll call it for what it is. Rep. Ackberry is not what the Democratic is not a strong Democrat. So whether they, whatever they think in a little world that Rep. Ackberry is strong, she is not that strong because you know I like First Lady Michelle Obama. I think she's a very strong African American woman here in the United States of America. Rep. Ackberry should reach to strong Democrats. Those people that she have around her inner circle are weak and they're not strong enough to move the city forward. I am bred of something. I come from a breed of people. I'm bred of strength and of power. If you want to know what power is, look at Nicholas the Governor Pegues. I don't care what people say. Some people, I mean, I respect everybody. I don't care what they say or what their opinion is. If you're wrong, I'm going to call you out for it. And that's what the strong leaders do. That was That's what leaders of God sent leaders do, like Nelson Mandela. Um, you know, um, President George W. Bush, President Barack Obama. I don't care who you are. If you're wrong, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna not I'm gonna come at you and I'm gonna tell you that you're wrong. So this is Nicholas for reporting a happy Sunday. Yes, I love my European pale Hellenic sisters with the unopened letter of President Barack Obama. Nicholas for reporting. CNN icon of Memphis, and may God save the Queen.